In Tableau 2020.1, Tableau have added the ability to add custom suggestions in the Ask Data interface. Let me show you how to get there. I'm just going to hit Explore and go to one of the data sources that I use quite often. It's the Superstore data source. Uh, I'm going to click All Data Sources there. You'll see I just have the one on my test environment. I'm going to click on that and then we arrive at the Ask Data interface. That's almost a default landing page you see here. And we can notice something new straight away. If you look over here, I have this pencil icon next to this group. Okay, so this is some of the custom capability that Tableau have added. I can actually remove some of these suggestions if I want to. If they don't make sense, um, I can actually remove them and I can actually add them or edit my own ones uh, to make it much, much easier for people uh, to sort of find their own questions. And you can see here that they're grouped by different attributes. So uh, looking at things like filters, date and time, you can actually come in here and customize some of those and even choose the different map types, okay, that you've got available to you. And uh, you can, you know, I don't like pie charts, so the first thing we can do straight away is just to get rid of that one because who would ever want to use a pie chart? Not me. So uh, that's, that's that fix that's immediately made things a lot better. If I go back down to the basic data uh, analyst, analysis uh, section, I can actually remove this question by state or I can just start typing inside of the square and I can say maybe do this by region because region makes more sense and you can see it auto completes that so now that suggestion is much much better okay so I can you know just start typing sum of sales okay right and then I could say buy and it should have a little bit of a think of it and as I start typing R it should try and uh, sort of auto complete but I think my version of Tableau is being a little bit slow and now if I hit enter uh, you can see that it's broken those those queries down into uh, sort of two simple queries and it's now able to do that when I'm done I can obviously take these uh, uh, these views and start working with them in web edit or I can simply close this and go back to my view where I was having a look at these um, data sources and just you keep on using Ask Data to browse this. Okay, that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. It's a very, very simple quality of life improvement for Ask Data, but very much worthwhile to help those suggestions be a little bit smarter, but also lead users in the right direction in terms of questions they can ask and questions they can't ask. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. And if not, well, drop me a comment below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see instead. That's always very useful feedback. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.